Hey everybody, I'm uh, photographing these three trees here while well, I'm attempting to photograph them, but my light meter battery died. And I had a spare battery in the pouch. But it must have dropped out. Could be anywhere. Could be in the car, could be at home. I mean, I could have dropped it anywhere which is unfortunate. Not good for the environment, and uh, those batteries are not cheap. So, what do I do? Do I go to the store and buy battery? Or do I use the Sunny 16? Or, do I use this, this light meter app that I have on my phone that I've been dying to try? I mean, I've read online mixed reviews. Some people swear by it. Some people swear at it. <laughs> um, it's called Light Meter Light. You can, you can download it for free. Well, this is what it looks like. Hope you guys can see it. You can also see me too. But uh, you can see the scene. And there's F16, or there's F stop. You can change the F stop. You can change the shutter speed, ISO. And also there's EV output, which I don't use, so I don't care. Uh, so, I'm using Cantemir 400, and I'm not shooting it at 400, I'm going to be shooting it at uh, 250. And, do I want, well I'm going to be hand holding, I don't have my tripod, I'm traveling light today. So, oop, error, you're currently calculating this, oh, so, I guess it's aperture priority. Yeah, that's not good. So I'll go to a smaller or a larger aperture. We'll see F8. Oh, it's taking readings right now. Cool. And there's this little spot here. Now if I frame my scene and then I press a spot, press an area, that spot moves and it takes a reading. And now it says a 60 of a second. If I go up to the bright grass area, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. If I hold it in that bright area, I get a reading of 60th of a second. Now, I don't know. My own experience with proper light meters, we all know that when you read an area, the meter wants to give you exposure settings that will give you a middle gray area. So I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that's what this meter will do. I mean, when I press on dark areas, it's going, is it going lighter? Darker? So yeah, it is. It, the, the screen image is contrast on the screen is adjusting itself when I press in dark areas and light areas. So I'm wondering if it's going to give me a middle gray rendition. And if so, does that mean I've got to adjust my exposure accordingly? So if I take a reading off of the shadow area, there, it's F8 at 1 60th of a second. But is it really at 1 60th of a second? Do I have to give two stops less? Hmm. So, I'm going to take a shot. First of all, I'm going to frame, frame my scene. Remember, I'm hand-holding, so not much to that. Um, and I, I think I'm going to take a meter reading probably off of the dark tree there. And I'll take an exposure at, as is, and then I'm going to adjust the meter by accordingly. Like, maybe I'll put it on zone 4. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same shot using Sunny 16 rule. So these are the three trees that I want. 
this nicely bright lit one in the foreground and I'll probably take my reading off of that dark tree there. With that little spot put over that tree, it's F8 at 1 60th of a second. Okay, so F8 at a 60th of a second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a stop less. I'll change the shutter speed, 1 25th. Okay, so that took that reading and placed it on zone 4. Now I'm going to use Sunny 16. But up one, so the Sunny 16, as you know, I mean, I'm, I don't have to tell you what it is. I've got an ISO 400 film, I'm shooting at an EI 250. So I'm going to be using 250 instead of 400. So that means I need to use a shutter speed of 250th of a second and adjust the aperture for the lighting. And it's hazy lighting. And do you think I can remember? I have a chart on my phone somewhere. Slightly overcast, hazy sun. That's what I want. Soft around the edges. Yeah, there's shadows, but very, very soft. So I need to do F11. F11. So, but you know what? I don't. I'm gonna go to 125 at F16. I think I'm going to open up the aperture a full stop. I think I'm going to try that backlit scene over there. Over there. photographed this many times different times of the year it's backlit now it's when I like it the most especially when there's leaves on it it's too bad it's a hazy day I prefer the Sun to be more intense so I'm gonna take a reading with that light meter app I'll take two again I wonder where I should base it on. Maybe I'll base it on the sunlit grass. Now I don't like to do that. I like to take shadow readings. Suppose for the shadows. Yeah, I think it's really influenced by the bright sky. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take a reading of the sidewalk and just let that be middle gray so f8 at an 80th of a second let that go middle gray then I only have to take one picture now I'll focus on the tree so what did I say 80th I don't have 80th I'm gonna go 60th at f8 Now I'll take another one, but I'm going to use a Sunny 16. <laughs> so I could probably just use the same exposure. So what did I say? So I'm using 250 of a second at F11, hazy day. I'll go to 125 at F11. It's backlit. Let's take a shot there and see what happens. And I'll give a stop more. So I'll go to a 60th of a second. Okay. 
So, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I've got only a couple more exposures. Uh, maybe I should just shoot them. <laughs> I just fired off the last two. Some guy sitting on the stairs way over there. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go home, hit the dark room, develop this film, and I'll share the results. I'm not feeling very optimistic about the uh, that light meter app readings, but you never know. See you guys in a bit. Alright, what do we have? There are images. There are images. There are images. Hmm. Let's hang it up to dry. All right, here are the negatives. And I have to say that I'm quite impressed with that light meter app. This is one with a light meter app where I base the exposure on this tree and I use the I use that reading and transferred it directly onto the camera. It's pretty good. It's a little on the thin side for my liking. And this is the one where I gave a stop less because I wasn't sure if the meter read in middle gray terms. You can see it's thinner. So maybe it, it looks like it's better just to take the actual reading from the app and transfer that directly. Maybe bracket around it a little bit. And here are the two shots I did using the Sunny 16 rule. It's really thin. I mean, probably this situation wasn't the best. And I gave one stop more which is, was a good thing because now there's a little bit more detail in the shadows but it's still quite thin so i would say this was a fail the app did a better job and here here are the negatives of that backlit tree the phone app did a pretty good job i would say a really good job this is the Sunny 16 rule, it's not too bad. It's a bit thinner than the app shot. And then I, with the Sunny 16, I gave a stop more just to compensate for the backlight. And it's a good thing I did because it's a little bit better. It's not as dense as the app shot, but I think it's still printable. So I'm gonna go and scan these in.